صلاة العيد أثابكم الله استو اعتدلوا الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين
الأولين هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمصيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر 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 كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد O Muslims today is the day of Eid al-Fitr Today is the day that the angels come and they give glad tidings to those whose siyam, whose qiyam, whose qira'at al-Qur'an was accepted. May Allah make us amongst them. Today is the day of Eid, a day of happiness. And do you know why it is a day of happiness? Because today the default in the entire ummah, the default is that every single Muslim who attempted to be religious, who fasted the month of Ramadan, who prayed extra, who recited the Quran extra, the default is every single Muslim today is sinless. How do we know this? Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa gave us the good news, gave us the bashara when he said, 
whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, believing in Allah and expecting Allah's reward, will have all of his sins forgiven. Whoever prays every single day of Ramadan, believing in Allah and expecting in Allah's reward, will have all of his sins forgiven. And whoever prays on Laylatul Qadr, believing in Allah and expecting Allah's rewards, will have all of his sins forgiven. And so every one of us who fasted this month, every one of us who raised the bar of worship and rituals and religiosity, insha'Allah ta'ala, today is the day of real Eid. We are being spiritually reborn. We are giving a new opportunity at life, at spirituality, at a new connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why it is called the day of Eid, the day of happiness. In some narrations, the day of reward and jawa'iz. Allah gives prizes. The angels distribute those prizes. And we want to be amongst those people that get that prize. And what is the prize? The pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Jannatul Firdaus. That's what we want, O oh Muslims. O oh Muslims, my khutbah today is very short and very few points. The first point, I just mentioned it. And that is the real Eid is the Eid of spiritual happiness. The real Eid is not just the wearing of clothes. It's not just the putting on of the perfume. It's not just the happiness of family and wealth. The real Eid is the Eid of hearing the news that we will enter Jannah. And that is why these Eids in this world are opportunities for us to feel that happiness. How happy we are. How blessed we are. Well, the real happiness will be when we get our deeds in our right hand and we are told, Udkhurul Jannata bima kuntum ta'amaloon. So as we prepare for our worldly, yearly Eids, prepare for the actual Eid of the Akhirah. My second point, O Muslim, my second point, the Eid of 1445. Hijrah. This is 1445. The Eid of 2024 and the Ramadan of 2024, it is gone. There was but one Ramadan of this year and we have caught it, alhamdulillah, but it is gone. Fleeting, few days, how quickly it came, how quickly it went. And so too will be my life and yours. How many Ramadans have we sat through? And Allah knows how many more we will be sitting through. Where are all those generations before us? Where are my ancestors and your ancestors who celebrated Eid after Eid? Where are the dozens and hundreds of generations before us? They are no longer here. So too Allah has given us a short period of time. And Allah has given us one more Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, we have managed to get one more Ramadan. But now that Ramadan is over and now that Eid has come, then we are divided into two camps. The first camp is that just like Ramadan is gone, just like their deeds are gone, so too their religiosity and spirituality will be gone. And this is not the camp of the successful. The second camp is those who realize Ramadan is gone, but the good deeds remain. Ramadan is gone, but the spirituality remains. Ramadan is gone, but the effects of Ramadan should remain we want to be in that category just like one Ramadan is gone so too our lives will continue onwards O oh Muslim take the lessons of Ramadan O oh Muslim Absorb the iman and spirituality we felt in Ramadan and let it sustain you to be a better person today than you were before Ramadan began. The goal, as I have said multiple times, the goal of Ramadan is to push us up every year so that we maintain a better lifestyle until the next Ramadan. And every Ramadan should be a boost. Every Ramadan should raise our rank until we meet our Lord. So, O oh Muslim, today is the first day after Ramadan. Now is the time. Time, right now to make the sincere intention that intention should be I want to be better this upcoming year than I was in the previous year and it should be a serious intention and it should be a committed intention and if you fail in your deeds don't fail in your intention. If you fail to live up 100%, do not give up on your intention because remember, what counts is your intention. What counts is your effort. Even if you slip, even if you fall, continue trying. Continue trying to be a better person. And in that trying shall be our success. Allah doesn't care about the quantity of deeds. Allah cares about the quality of our ikhlas and sincerity. And that quality is shown what is inside the qalb. So my second advice to you, take the lessons of Ramadan take the spirituality of Ramadan and then absorb it and use it to motivate yourself to be a better person for this entire year and every Ramadan keep on raising the bar until the best Ramadan will happen to be your last Ramadan and the best days of your life will be the last days on this earth and none of us knows when that will be my third and final message my third and final message O Muslims 
as we celebrate today. And yes, we should celebrate. And wallahi, it is our right, every Muslim's right, that we be happy on this day. Regardless of what is happening, there should be also a level of happiness. There should be a level of personal joy and satisfaction at having completed the month, at having been given all of these blessings. But let us also temper that happiness with a little bit of a reality check. And that too is Islam. We balance between the hope and the fear. We balance between the positive and the negative. And when we look at what is happening in the ummah today subhanallah O muslims we are living through not just a time of crises but times of crises we're living through multiple agonies the muslim ummah is bleeding from multiple points on its body not even just one wound no doubt the severest gash and the worst wound is the wound of Gaza right now. Our hearts are bleeding because of Gaza. We see this reality, six months of a besieged people, over 40,000 people dead. If this is not a genocide, then what is a genocide? And the world watches coldly and callously. The very least, O Muslim, we should be motivated to be better. We should be motivated to have a connection and to able to do something to not be neutral, to not be silent. We should be motivated to better our own lives and to try our best to raise awareness and do whatever level of activism is possible for us. But it is not just Gaza, around the world. And if I start mentioning countries' names, then unfortunately I will never be able to finish because of the time limit. But wallahi, where does one begin? Still the situation in Kashmir for 75 years and the rising Islamophobia in the land of India. We see what is happening to our Muslim brothers and sisters in Burma and how they have been the Rohingya have been cast aside. The Uyghur brothers and sisters in China in concentration camps, the likes of which we haven't seen since World War II. Civil wars in multiple regions in the world. Sudan recently as well. And I can go on and on. And if I didn't mention a country, it's just because of time, not because we're not thinking about it. But wallahi, O Muslim, as we celebrate Eid today, and as you have a level of happiness, just keep a reality check as well. Because, O Muslim, what is happening over there might happen over here as well. What is happening around the world they never thought it would happen to them and yet Allah tested them we don't want to be tested but we need to be prepared for those tests and even if we ourselves are not tested directly we are being tested indirectly by other things and of the things we're being tested with is how are we living our lives with the freedoms that we have with the pleasures that we have with the merriment that we have oh Muslims there are people around the world that are forced to not fast Ramadan that are forced to break their fast that are forced to live difficult lives because because their regimes persecute them. What excuse will I have and you have on the day of judgment when we are asked about what we did and we had all of these blessings and freedoms? We thank Allah for the freedom to be Muslims. We thank Allah for the freedom to worship. We thank Allah for the abilities we have, where we are living. So take advantage of those abilities. Me and you, we have no excuse to not be worshiping Allah. And so look at the world around you and be motivated to be a better person. This is my final message to you, O Muslim. Today is the day of Eid. It is a day of celebration do not disobey Allah on this particular day especially fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this day show gratitude show thanks make your families happy this is the day of Eid look at what is happening in the ummah pray for them and be motivated to be a better person oh Muslim today is the day of Eid we do not know how many more Eids that we will have in this world maybe one maybe 50 Allah knows best for some of us that might this might be our last Eid on this earth oh Muslim Take advantage of these Eids so that the day of judgment becomes the best Eid for you. Take advantage of this time frame so that when the Hisab is given and when the Mizans are brought out and when the angels of the scrolls are shown our deeds, when the Hisab takes place, we want to be on Eid on that day. And the only way to be on Eid on that day is to prepare from here and now. Prepare for that Eid so that you have the ultimate happiness on that day. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu. Allahumma la tada'afi hadha niyum bi إلا غفرت ولا هما إلا فرجت ولا دينا إلا قضيت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا عسيرا إلا يسرت اللهم اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم من أرادنا أو أراد الإسلام والمسلمين بسوء فاشغله بنا 
بنفسه وجعل تدميره في تدبيره يا قوي يا عزيز عباد الله إن الله تعالى أمركم بأمر بدأ به بنفسه وثنى بملاكة قدسه وثلث بكم أيها المؤنون من جنه وإنسه فقال عز من قائل عليما إن الله ملاكة يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وأنعم على عبدك رسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله تقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال عيدكم مبارك May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our good deeds May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and bring izzah to the ummah with us and through us Please stand up and greet each others تقبل الله منا ومنكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله